<laughs> just look at the close-up of that. It's like unlocking a new flavor of curry. Yeah. When you think about food in India, the meal we're about to eat is probably not what comes to your mind. It's a life-changing flavor. Within the lush mountains of Kurg, the food of the Kodava people is heavily spiced. Personally, being a Kodava, I've not seen any other culture use it. I think that's going to be a little too much for you, but yeah, you can try it. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. And seasoned with a few rare ingredients unique to this region. You have no clue what you're missing. I could die and go to heaven, Mark. <laughs> Today, we've been invited to a family home where Shelly and Subu are cooking some of the best Kodava food. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens and welcome to Kurg. This area is known for growing coffee and it's also the home of the Kodava people. And so today we're gonna to be learning all about the Kodava people. We're gonna be cooking some of their signature, unique foods and dishes. Evan, yes. <laughs> this Evan. is... Shirley's yeah. uncle's house. Oh, okay, cool. We're planning to have a cooking yeah. session somewhere there down. Nice. Yeah. And you're getting this aroma of coffee flowers. Yes. This is the time when coffee blooms. Okay. It'll take about 10 months for the coffee berry to develop. Oh, okay, so wow. So whatever flowers right now, we pick it next year by this time. Wow, okay. And so we're all hanging out under the palm trees. It's beautiful. What a property, so lush and green. The kitchen is set up out here. All the spices are laid out. The pork has already been marinating. Today we'll be making authentic pandikari, kurk pandikari. Pandikari nice. means? Pandikari. Uh, pork curry. Pork. Pork. pork curry, okay. But this is one of the signature dishes of the Kodava people. And I'm gonna see the whole process as it's being made. Chili powder, turmeric, and salt. And this is marinated for two hours now, and we directly add it to the tawa. You want the kati? So we do not use any oil for pork cooking. Okay. It's just the direct meat. Okay, because all of that fat will render out of the pork itself. And let the meat cook. Fresh curry, curry leaves from curry our leaves. Fresh curry leaves, one of the great ingredients. From our estate. This is traditional. This is only made in a Kodwa house. A lot of people try to replicate it, but they miss the beat because one is the masala that is added to this is very unique to the Kodwas, number one. Number two is we add the vinegar we were talking about towards the end. Okay. That gives it a smoky, earthy, umami kind of a flavor. Kachimpuli is what it's called in, in our language. This is the vinegar that we use that makes this dish absolutely unique. Just dip your little finger in it and take a dab on your tongue and you'll know what we're talking about. So what is, what's the significance of this in Kodava culture? Personally, being a Kodava, I've not seen any other culture use it. Uh, there are uh, substitutes for this, like a lot of people use kokum, but the taste of this is way unique. Very umami, very earthy, very smoky. I think... And it's used in a lot of Kodava dishes? Most of the Kodava dishes. Most of the Kodava yeah. dishes. Whoa, it's really... It almost looks like tar. Like it's I, really... I think that's going to be a little too much for you, but yeah, you can try it. <laughs> that might be too much. <laughs> it's really sticky, really dark in color. Um, and it's it's made from Garcinia, right? Garcinia. Made from Garcinia, so it's made from a sour Garcinia fruit. Garcinia gatiguma, it's called. Garcinia gatiguma. We use this one. The, the fruit, we time. use it for fish curry in Kerala. Okay. But they use it in a completely different way. Consistency is crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really smoky. Ho, ho, ho. That will waken you up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh. Medicine as well for burnt food. Exactly that. So sour and yeah. so smoky. It has a lot of different uses that you wouldn't have heard of, you know? Oh, it's Kodugu delicious. is very 
leech infested during the monsoon. <laughs> really? Yeah. So a lot of people, what they do is they put a little bit of this on their hands and they rub oh. it down on their legs and the leeches will not get onto it. It's just the sour and it has a hint of a sweetness. Almost like a like an extremely yeah. strong balsamic. Yeah. Like an extremely extreme, strong... Yeah, that extreme, would be the right It's extreme saying. balsamic is what it is. That's a common ingredient. Yeah in so many of the different dishes, and that's so, such a beautiful flavor. There's two different masalas also that go yeah. into the pork. Yeah, we have green chilies, coriander leaf, um, pepper, peppercorn, black pepper, I mean. And we have jeera, a little bit of methi, and a little bit of mustard seeds. Okay. This is green masala. Look at how chunky that masala is, and so many spices. You see the pepper in there, the black pepper. Yeah. This has cinnamon, clove, uh, dried coriander, Jeera, all okay. roasted. Moving back over to the, oh, the green masala goes in. Oh. Yes. Whole bowl of the green masala. The immediate burst of black pepper and green chilies. The pork is already pre-marinated. And then the fresh masala and layering with the dry masala, the spices, the, the roasted dry spices, plus the herbs, the curry leaves, the sawtooth coriander. You can already like imagine the layering of flavor it's gonna have. It's gonna be incredible. You can immediately smell that roasted masala. This is roasted the flavor of the, coriander. Uh, oh. Roasted coriander? Yeah. Oh, that cinnamony aroma to it. And, and plain oh. coriander goes in. Now you see the color change. Oh, yeah. So, Immediately uh, it turns when dark. When you see the color, you'll know there if is the masala is sufficient. sufficient or not. Oh, okay. Oh, right now it's not. It is not. It has it, to turn a little more darker. It has to turn darker. The pork, pork masala. masala. Yeah. Oh man, when you add in the dry spice mixtures, the roasted masala just takes on this total new dimension. I mean, those are not just dry spices, they're already roasted down, so already that complexity is, it's gonna be just layer upon layer upon layer of flavor. So it's time, it's time for the kachapuri. Again, you see a color change. Mm -hmm. It gets dark, darker. Yeah, immediately it gets darker. And you taste it now in, in another wait, four or five wait, minutes. Wait. Mm -hmm. Because I made him taste it before. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now when he tastes it, he knows the difference. Yeah. Pepper from our farms here, uh -huh. locally sourced. And the curry is here. Kandila. Petty. Now taste it. With the kachan puri. Taste test. Mm. Oh. It oh, yeah. the taste. oh, that's yeah. unbelievable. That, that's a totally different flavor from any curry I've ever tasted. Oh, man. Again, the layer upon layer of flavors. The masalas. Oh, it's incredible. And the finishing with the kachan puri with that, that sour garcinia. Oh, that's... And it's spicy too. It burns your lips. Wow, that's flavorful. This with oh, yeah. this. Oh yeah, show us how to eat the, the rice balls with the pandi curry, okay. You have no clue what you're missing. <laughs> I'm about to find out. <laughs> you said this is your favorite. Combination meal on earth. I could die and go to heaven, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and be happy. Just on this. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shelly. This is privilege to be here to sit down for this totally new meal experience. And is there anything else other than rice? Or is it just compressed? Just rice. Just rice steamed that's rice. steamed rice compressed into ball shape going for that pork. <laughs> just look at the close-up of that pork. It's so thick and rich. If I had a pork. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh. Man, this is superb. <laughs> Shelly, Shelly, wonderful. Thank you so much. It's unbelievable, actually. Mm. Like, it's, it's a life-changing flavor. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. And that uh, kachampuli made the trick. Actually, that sourness. Uh-huh, yeah. and it's not overpowering. No. It kind of gives it this umami mm -hmm. of sour acidity that breaks the richness. And again, the spices that she used for pork curry, it is extraordinary. It's unbelievable, actually. Yeah. And this is a type of curry, like, it's like unlocking a new flavor of curry. Yeah. Like, we've completed a mission in life. <laughs> it's total, total unique flavor, like unlike any other curry I've ever tasted. I think just the roasted, toasty, smoky flavors of the masalas. Yeah. The green chilies, and then, yeah, that secret kachapuri. And the garlic that they have added. All together, it's wonderful. And it's spicy, too. Like, yeah. with the quantity of black pepper, with the quantity of green chilies and masalas, it is. Mm. <laughs> Can't even believe it. Yeah, that's happiness, tender jackfruit. So it's young jackfruit. Yeah. Sauteed down with onions, uh, with Garlic. a few chilies. And would we eat this together with the, the, the ghee rice just, or just you separate? Can just taste it as okay. it is. All right. Oh man. Oh. Mm. Oh. I'm a big fan of jackfruit. Me too. Both ripe mm -hmm. as well as raw. Mm -hmm. I mean, the in all one. stages. Yeah, all stages. In all stages. Yeah. Oh. And it has this. The flavor of the turmeric, but it's also been marinated in tamarind, so it has a, mm -hmm. a hint of a sourness to it. Mm. And I mean, one of the great things about jackfruit is the texture, right? Yeah. It almost has a yeah, like a pulled, pulled meat. It's like texture to it. It's like minced, not minced, uh, maybe shredded meat. Yeah, it's it, just yep. like shredded meat. And then next up for the mutton. Mutton. Mutton with ghee rice. What a combination! Ooh. Tender pieces really of tender mutton. Tender pieces. Yeah. Yes. Really tender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mutton can really compete with pork. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. it's really nice. Taste. Yeah, very good, mm. very good. And it's a totally different masala. Mm. Like, yes. completely different flavor profile. This one you taste more of the the sweeter spices. Yeah, like the clove-ish, cinnamony flavors in it. I think in the masala. Yeah, cinnamon, cinnamon, uh, definitely cardamom. cardamom. Yes. And with ghee rice, it's. Perfect combination. Yeah. yeah, the gyrash melts in your mouth. Yep. Mm. Mm. Yeah, in fact, I got a whole clo uh, whole pot of cardamom. I think in the rice, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe the rice is not only flavored with ghee, but also onions. Maybe you see some garlic in there. Yeah, Maybe garlic, you see some garlic, hinted yeah. with some of the spices as yes. well. But what a meal. Just everything. Outstanding. Flavor profiles that I've never experienced before. I mean, here or in India. <laughs> and I think like we were saying, yep. this just changes your perception of what you think Indian food is. Exactly. Like, I mean, you have this perception of South India being dosa and idli, or North India being naan and Roti. butter chicken and, and dal, yeah. Dal, yeah. But these are just completely different flavor profiles. It's always better to visit and experience rather than read or watch. Yes, All right? for yeah. sure, for sure. Mango curry. Oh, mango, mango curry. curry. Oh, so for the mango curry, are they ripe mangoes or it's a it's green mango. mangoes? Green mangoes. Oh, you can see it's like tender it is the whole, the whole tender mango. Cheers. Cheers, <laughs> Evan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, another dish. <clears throat> we had jaggery. Oh this man, dish. lots of that achar taste, no. mm -hmm. pickle taste, the sourness. Mm -hmm. Lots of pepper in there too. Mm. And that's salty, sour, and sweet all at the same time. It's like an achar yeah. turned into a curry. Like a mango pickle 
curry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's try the, the pepper chicken. Mm. Oh, all the flavor of the black pepper. It's so evident, so strong and powerful. Oh. Roasted coriander powder goes in. A lot of pepper. This is fresh, freshly ground pepper. Lots of black pepper goes in, freshly ground. She added in a small mountain of pepper <laughs> to the chicken. Well, most recipes, I mean, you'll call for like a little teaspoon. She just piled in the pepper. It's just coating every piece of chicken. And that just immediately bursts with this pepperiness on your tongue. What another impressive recipe. And then, I mean, just the aroma coming out, uh, the roasted coriander in there as well. The secret culinary weapon. Yes. It's stunning, stunning. And a totally different flavor profile from the, the pandikar, from the, from, the, from, the, from the pork, yeah. In the recent history of my, my eating, mm -hmm. I can't think of another meal that can top that. This, this meal and this pandikar, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just look at the thickness of that pandi curry. Um, and I totally agree with you. It's a good combo. It's a, it's a heavenly bite. Yeah. That is one of the great flavors you could put in your mouth. How do you go from eating something like this that's the most flavorful like dish on earth to having to eat something plain with no spice? With no, yeah. I don't think you can. It would be like torturous <laughs> to have to eat something <laughs> plainly flavored after something like this. It's just, oh man. You have to like check it if your tongue is mm. working. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nothing compares. The tired lot. Final, mm. final bite. But this is a flavor I just wanna, I wanna keep on my tongue for forever. Mm. Mm an unbelievable meal. And like I mentioned already, it's like just totally different from any flavors of Indian cuisine that I've ever experienced before. The food is not over yet. We are continuing. We're gonna be spending a night at a lodge. And tonight, actually, Shelly is gonna cook another meal for dinner tonight uh, and cook some different Kodava dishes. What is the plan for dinner tonight? Oh, quite a lot. Some traditional dishes from Kodagu. I think that'll be restricted to something that's been done here. Excellent. And also we'll have some wine, special wines from here. And these that's, are homemade wines. Yeah, homemade wines. So there's things that zero aren't. alcohol. That's something that's a part of the, the culture. It, and the, the culture here because the of the kind of and cold. weather that we live in, right? It's okay. pretty cold during winters. Yeah. So mm. just to warm yourself up. You need some up. beverages. Yeah. It's got nothing other than turmeric salt and boiled okay it. it's so pork it's, it's basic basic pork boiled pork right all right so that goes directly into the pan if you realize something there's no oil in it because the reason why we don't use the oil in most of our cooking is because of the fat that that the pork carries which will render into the dish and this is a very very easy dish we call this pork chidakal in, in in our language which basically comes, uh, there, there's a history to how this is, this came into existence, right? So we down a pig uh, in special occasions, like we have our festivals. When we down them, we call people to clean it. So they have a right of meat first. Mm. So they're given a certain amount of meat for them. So when they're cleaning the pork, they take that piece first and they cook this right then and there. So there's no masalas that are put into it. It's Bare basic, and I think you can't get anything more traditional than this in a Korva cuisine. Trust me. Okay, great. Oh, that's starting to crackle down. Yeah, yeah. Fat is rendering down into oil, sizzling. Sizzling. Oh, yeah. That already smells so good. See it reducing now, fat is coming out, it's caramelizing as well. It's actually starting to roast on the bottom of that pan, yeah? Yeah. So you're just continually kind of scraping it, scraping it off. Oh man, few things better than 
melted pork, pork fat, which is then caramelized and crispified. All the oil. Huh? Yeah. Oil. Add a little bit of fat. Just the, the excess the excess oil. And then so all that pork she just caramelizes it down until it turns crispy. That stage where the outside exterior is gonna be crispy, but guaranteed juicy on the inside, and the masala is about to go on. It's bird's eye chili. Uh -huh. It's got a little bit of garlic, oh, okay. a little bit of ginger, just for flavoring, and salt and lemon. Okay. So this goes into this. Oh, and what a move to keep it fresh, not cooking it at all, right? Oh, oh, I want the oh, I want that. I need that masala. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> cheers for chitikas. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh, that's sensational. That's just blowing your taste buds. Again, the the pork, which is simmered down so it's crispy and fatty. Fresh masala is just what absolutely takes it to the next level with that acidity, the green chilies, the coriander. It is so good. So simple and so good. Yeah. And cheers. 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 Mmm. Different in flavor? Mmm. Yeah. Very smooth and mellow. Sweet. It is sweet. And acidic. Uh, sweet, acidic, as well as that flavor of jackfruit. Yeah. Lightly, not too much. You do, no? yeah. Like, you would, if, if you're just tasting it and you didn't know it was jackfruit, you'd need to think about what it yeah. was. Because it's not that powerfully jackfruit. Yeah. I think everything would pair well with this. Yes. <laughs> she said it's a two year old been fermenting for two years. Oh. Mm -hmm. Super much. So strong. Yeah. Perfect combination. <laughs> Is it strong for you? <laughs> yeah, that does pair really well though because you have the really like incredibly savory, salty pork with the sweet That's jackfruit, the, sweet the fermentation. Mm. That combination is unbelievable. Chicken, boiled chicken. Okay, boiled so this chicken. is good. It's gonna be the same recipe, just chicken version. Chicken version. Okay, and what's the chicken one called? Chudas. Okay, I'll grab one piece. Okay, you can do it. It's blended well. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's so good again. The acidity, yeah. the lime juice, the green chili. Actually, that uh, paste. Yes. Oh, that you can makes it different. The cooked uh, yeah. masala. Mm -hmm. Cooked masala. That was raw masala. Lightly, and this is yeah, it's masala. different, slightly different in taste. And again, uh, I still prefer pork. <laughs> what yeah. about you? I mean, pork is hard to beat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. But the chicken is also just ah, incredibly good. Yeah. The only reason mm -hmm. There's no much that the. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not as fatty. Mm. I mean, the only reason the pork wins is because we had that, like, it's pork. It's and pork, and it was <laughs> yeah. slightly crispier than this. Yes, it has that crispy yeah. edge, the fattiness. Mm. Chicken is also fantastic, though. The flavor, yeah. the aroma is so good. What type of wine is that? This is beetle leaf. Beetle leaf wine. Excellent. And that's our next wine pairing. And how long has this one been fermenting Two for? Years. Two years. Two years ago.
Cheers. This oh, this is far, far better than the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this one is incredible. Wow. Yeah, 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 I agree. Oh. This one is... Wow. Far, far better. It's much, oh. much higher. Because oh, yeah. it immediately oh, has this... You. This acidity, more of an acidity, and a again, sourness to it. <laughs> and and the, the pan, the, the beetle leaf, it's again, it's quite subtle. It's yeah. not overpowering at all. But we, we feel it then. Yeah. But it's it's sweet and sour. Rice roti. This in Kodotaka is called wanake erchi. Wanake is dry, erchi is meat. Wow. So this is basically smoked, smoked, smoked dried pork. It's the palau. Oh, the mutton palau. The, mutton palau. Oh, oh. the meats were just for snack. Now we're sitting down for the full meal. Some unique dishes. Okay, so we get the roti. This is actually one of the things I'm most looking forward to trying is the black nightshade leaves. Something I don't think I've tried before. Uh -huh. To be eaten with the hot, what type of roti is it? The Aki roti. roti. Aki roti. Aki roti. Oh, it's a rice roti. Rice oh, it's a rice roti. Okay. Okay. Oh, can't wait to try it. Mm. Mm. It's slightly bitter. Yeah, very lightly. It's bitter. It basically mm. clears your system. Mm. You realize it in the morning. That's so how it clears the system. Oh, clears so it. Realize it in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what that means. It clears your system, but you won't realize it till the morning. <laughs> oh, I love the flavor though. It has a flavor like jute leaves. Uh, yes. Bitter and medicinal a little bit. This is medicinal. Yeah. yeah. It tastes medicinal, definitely. Yeah. You can tell that. You can tell that it has like, yeah. like powerful effects. Oh, I love the flavor though, and it has a nuttiness too. And that that goes well with this roti, because it's rice flavor. Mm -hmm. Though it is slightly bitter, mm -hmm. the rice flavor gives a different level. Mm. Simple, but so tasty, the flavor coming out of those leaves. It's only the leaves. Mm. Oyster mushrooms. Mm. So Delicious as well. Of lime, which is yeah, okay. It does have a, a sourness to it. The actual mushrooms themselves are just nice and silky. This goes, uh, a little goes a long way. It's about time for another beverage pairing. This is bird eye chili wine. Mm -hmm. Oh. Cheers. 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 Long life, good Bird's words. eye chili. Mm. I was expecting more spicy, but it's not that it's spicy. Again hmm? It has again a sweet and sour taste, yeah. but. Oh. But as it goes in, you have that. Yeah, we have that burning feeling. That is a... We probably have the, the green chili already in our throats from uh, the, maybe from yeah. the uh, green masala. The reason, yeah. Yes. Okay, now we should move on to that, the smoked the pork dish, smoked right? Smoked pork. This is something that's totally unique, and it, 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 you can smell the aroma too. You can smell the smoke. Hmm. Yeah, you wow. can smell the smoke. Mm, yeah. Yes, that's incredible. Mm. Oh, I love it. It's such a deep smoke to the point where it dehydrates and dries out the meat, just condensing the flavor. So smoky we with marinate, a sourness. We marinate the meat before we smoke it. Oh, Ooh. to that's tenderize it? Is that how it tastes? What do you add? Chili, salt, chili powder, and turmeric. No smokers which are built in all of this. It's traditional rooms with bamboo trays. Mm -hmm. So you put the meat on top of it, and then you have another place outside where you put the fire, and you bellow the smoke into the room. So the entire couple of days that it's it So it's kind of a, is it a cold smoke? It's then? a cold it's smoke. It's a cold smoke, so it's not a, it's not yeah, a hot it's smoke. Not a hot okay. Smoke. This is basically done to store the meat oh, okay. over time. Okay. Reason being, during monsoon, People in Coog can hardly go out. Mm. The rain is so bad mm -hmm. that they prefer to store food for that season. And then what's the sourness coming from? Kachimpuri, I spoke to you about oh, the vinegar. Oh, okay. So that's smoke with vinegar. Oh, that's so much flavor. Wow, that's extraordinarily tasty. Okay, so the, the mutton, the mutton pulao, tender pieces of mutton in there. Just really nice looking rice with the raita. All right. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, it's just dish after dish. Mm. 
and that's just so comforting. Especially after all the other like spicy, salty, um, acidic dishes. The this pulao one. just tastes so comforting. This is mint. The flavor of mint we can feel directly yes. in the pulao. Mm. Yes, I do taste the mint. Mm. Mm. And oh, okay. you just keep the right eye apart and try the pulao alone with mutton. Okay, it's so that totally soft. Yeah. It tastes all the broth and the oils of the mutton just absorbed into every grain of that rice. Mutton flavor is there in the rice grains. That's because mutton is cooked together with rice. Mm. So the rice but absorbs all the flavors of mutton, whatever the meat we use. Where it's just taking on that, mm, yeah. taking on that flavor of the mutton. Mm. None of the, none of the steam or oils or juices have gone to waste. They've all been absorbed into the rice. Oh, oh man, what a sensational meal! One of the big misconceptions, you know, like that people outside of India, mm -hmm. foreigners outside of India, have, is that you know India is like everything is dal roti and. Butter chicken, you know. I mean, just to be the most stereotypical. Mm -hmm. But you would never, you would never think that this is Indian food. When you travel around India, you just are able to experience the diversity that exists in this incredible country. And thank you so much for you, cooking this for incredible meal. Pleasure. We are honored to be here, and all oh, the food is just—it's mind blowing. So we ended up just sitting around, hanging out, incredible company, delicious food, and just, again, flavors totally different than I would ever expect to eat in India. Just sensational, and today has just been such an incredible learning experience. I want to say huge thank you to Shelly and Sibu for arranging everything, uh, to my great friend Eben uh, from Food and Travel, he's just an incredible friend from Kerala. Well, and I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. To see this entire India food tour, we're, we're traveling around the state of Karnataka eating some of the best food. Uh, you're not going to want to miss any of it, the diversity, the incredible flavors. But I want to say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.